Hi guys, my name is Johnny Locklear and I'm going to show you two wintery designs today to help us through those winter doldrums. So for our first nail, I'm going to do an ombre. Um, I'm already prepped and I have my form on, put on my protein bond, two coats always. So we're going to do all 10 nails and come back and do all 10 again. All right, so after we get our nail protein bonded, we're going to come in with our glitter mix. So I'm just going to take the body of my brush and pat that where I want it. I'm actually going to fade it up onto the nail plate itself because since we're doing an ombre, we need something to ombre over. We're using this um, as an encapsulation, so you want to keep your layers thinner. You don't want to build your bulk with your glitter because you'll end up filing it away at the end and your structure will be off. All right, I'm just going to take another little pearl, set it right back here, and just kind of fade that in. All right, and even though we have a bling-tastic nail here, I think we should add a little bit of something else just to give it some extra, extra pizzazz. So, I have my base laid. I'm going to add Chonky Chonk on top of that. And there's a lot of pink in here, so that is going to pick up as, this almost looks like shattered glass. And I'm actually going to take, since that's set up a little bit, I'm going to take a little bit of Speed Clear. Get a little bit on the end of my brush like this. Pick up my mylar pieces and flip them over. All right, so after we've got our base laid and we've got our chunky chunk in place, we are going to take cover blush and we're going to use that as our frombre. I'm going to pick up a pearl, set it down at the cuticle area, and I don't want to cover the entire nail with this. I just want to float it down until it's about halfway. So I'm going to tip that finger forward and let gravity work for me. We are still capping this in speed clear. So once I get to about the midway point, I'm actually going to start to feather that forward. You'll be able to see a little bit of the glitter underneath but it still gives an awesome effect. Once we have our cover blush down, we are going to take Speed Clear and encapsulate our glitter mix. So I'm gonna take a Pearl of Product, set it right on my free edge, and back brush it into my cover blush. Just kind of pat that across to get my structure in. Just wanna make sure you have all your glitter capped. So you're not filing anything away when you finish it. All right, so I'm gonna use some liquid art on this next nail. Um, I don't know if a lot of you have used this, but it's super concentrated. Sometimes it just takes one little drop. So I like to tone up my pinks, just one tiny drop in about a half a dappin dish of liquid. And I'm also going to use a little bit of blue liquid art. Just one tiny drop. And we're going to use the same glitter mix we used before. When you're working with little um, liquid art, you want to have a dedicated brush if you're doing anything heavy. A lot of times if you're using um, one drop in a dappin dish or red, you can rinse that out in your regular dappin dish or regular liquid and it'll make your brush um, right again. If you're using a lot of liquid art, you'll need to use a dedicated brush. All right, so we already have our second nail prepped. And we're gonna take our protein bond, same thing, two coats, one on all 10, and a second coat on all 10. All right, so for this nail, we're actually gonna do a smile line. Um, so we're gonna do reverse application. We're going to use cover blush, just like we did before. And we're gonna use our red liquid art mix that we made and pick up a pearl of cover blush about half the size of the nail plate and walk around the perimeter and let it drop down into a nice smile line. I want it to stop, so I'm gonna lift my finger up so it won't run down the nail anymore. I'm gonna tuck it in just a little bit here to tighten it up with the edges of my brush so I'm not slicing underneath it. All right, so once that's in place, I'm gonna actually take our glitter mix we made earlier and use our blue liquid art to kind of tone this up a little bit, make it a little more wintry. And I put just a tiny bit so it gives it a lighter hint of blue. If you want to add more, you can. We're actually going to pat that in place. 
And these are all nails you could create in the salon on a regular day. Nothing too crazy, as long as you have your mix already done. I'm just gonna come straight out from those growth channels. I may want just a little bit more. I'm gonna do the same thing I did earlier with Chunky Chunk. Spin it onto the nail. I'm gonna pat that down. I'm gonna use a little bit more liquid art. Pick up some speed clear. Set it down here on the free edge. Walk it up into our corners. Walk it across. Walk it into our corners. Make sure we have good coverage and we've kept all of our glitters in. We'll finish these, maybe do a little fun art on one of them. We'll be right back. All right guys, through the magic of television, we are all filed and ready to go. I'm gonna use uh, my new YN Striper and T-shirt. Um, it has a super thin brush inside. It's awesome for creating very thin, delicate lines. And I'm gonna make a snowflake design on our French nail. So I'm gonna use a dotter tool and just take a little bit of product off the back end because I can make dots better with the dotter tool. And on each end of our snowflake, we're gonna put three dots. Kind of a really easy snowflake to make. All right, so we've got some dots on our longer points in our snowflake. So I'm gonna take my dotting tool and go in between each V and make another series of dots in there. I'm gonna actually cure this for about 20 seconds just to stop it and give the snowflake a few friends. Doesn't have to be anything super crazy. So maybe some little friends up here in the corner. You can either do this by making tiny X's or you can use your dotting tool and make dots. Totally up to you. I'm gonna cure that out, get some top coat on both of them and we'll be able to see our finished designs. 